Hello everyone, this is your time here and uh, welcome back to another anime review and uh, today we're going to be reviewing an anime called The Angel Next Door Spoils Me Rotten. Now, this is a brand new anime just released uh, this January um, and it is about uh, a slice of life anime about two characters named Amane and Mahiru where uh, these two basically fall in love, you know, um, and it's called The Angel's ne Next Door because, you know, uh, Mahiru Shina is the character that actually you know it was she was actually idolized in the school she was considered an angel because she was like you know really beautiful probably the most beautiful girl in the school and you know like she has uh, an interesting personality to say the least because she has um always been the top of the class you know the usual stuff you expect right and then uh but there is more to her character which we'll get into that later but of course the one of the main protagonists the main male protagonist is amane fujimiya uh, which is the protagonist that uh, you know lives live alone in the in the apartment and then he's not really good at organizing things so like his apartment was like really really messy um, but all that changed when uh, Amane met uh, Mahiro when he I think he went home from school to the apartment and then he see Mahiro Shina in the park basically alone you know and then basically he lent the umbrella to her and then that's where their relationship started you know that's where Mahiro was like okay like I want to help you to uh, organized thing in your apartment you know and then their story their love basically start there and I know what you're thinking because this is such, this is like a slice of life anime like oh my god Ezra really <laughs> because nothing happened right in the slice of life anime yeah I mean you're, you're right because slice of life is well it's the characters just living their life you know there is nothing much happening and then this that's pretty much what the angel next door is but I would argue this is like one of the good slice of life anime in my opinion at least um, like sure you might you might not be there like uh every single week the episode drop but it is like a uh, engaging anime to say the least because the character of you know Amane and then Mahiro was such a good characters in my opinion because this is probably the most wholesome uh, romantic comedy or like slice of life anime that I have ever seen you know um maybe people will, can point out some other uh romance uh anime out there that is like super wholesome as well but uh, to me, this is like the the most wholesome one that I've seen so far, because the character is just so good. Like, is like did they? Uh, is there like a dance element? Like maybe, but it's like it's not, you know, obnoxious. It's not annoying like some of their uh, main characters that always like keep denying things that oh I'm not in love. You know, I'm not in love. You know, um, and one of the closest thing that we get to the romantic slice of life anime that actually like really wholesome is I think. Is uh, my dress up darling right? You, you guys remember that anime? I think this, I think it's getting a season two where uh, Marin Kitagawa is like falling in love with Gojo. Like I like the anime because like the character are interesting to see, and obviously uh, Kitagawa san is like you know like falling in love with Gojo, and it's just not even like denying that. I think the only down part about that anime is that Gojo character is just like not really <laughs> like see he, he was he obviously like uh, Kitagawa, but like you know doesn't really confess the feelings yet. Like she's still. Oh, he's still holding back but anyway this is the reason why i brought that up because like this anime kind of remind me of that you know like it's a character that actually uh engaging and wholesome to follow you know but this one i would argue it might be a bit better on handling the characters because i think mahiru shina character has some mystery to her backstory that we haven't yet to see but it was teased several times that maybe she doesn't have a good parenting because once when, when she met you know amane's mother <laughs> That was like looks very young to be honest, which is wow. Okay, um, yeah. She she basically said that man, it, it must be nice to have a mother that you know care for you. Like that line obviously indicates that she doesn't have a good parent. I think, if in my opinion, because we barely see, we don't we don't exactly see her parents yet, you know. So I guess we have to wait for that confirmation. But um, that's what I'm getting from that line by Shina, you know, like Mahiro, because you know I think it's the most obvious line ever, right? Um. And yeah, so far there's only a four episodes ca uh, came out, you know, um, it's, it is, yeah, again, uh, it's not the type of anime that you're just like waiting for like something to happen, I, I guess, because again, that is like not, you know, not that many drama, I guess you could say that, but it's fine, you know, it's not, it's not ridiculous, it's not annoying, it's wholesome, the main protagonist Amane clearly likes my hero, and I think he even ab admits that, but also like kind of denying that in, at the same time, which is like, yeah, it's a, it's a tropey kind of, type of protagonist that you fairly in love but you just like keep denying that right but Amane is not it's not exactly like that you know because like there is a couple of moments in the series where he clearly said that you know I like you know my hero and it, there is even one line that makes me laugh where he said that man 
why do I why do I feel like I found my wife here <laughs> or something like that? You know, while my while my hero was like cooking in the kitchen and then I'm gonna just like watching and then he said that line about like wife and stuff like that. It was like yeah, I mean it's a funny line and I think it's pretty clear that they do like each other and then they just I think we just have to wait because I think what I heard from the, the, the description this is like a may maybe again maybe this is like a slow burn anime between the two of them but so far like. It doesn't necessarily feel like a slow burn anime. Like it might take a while for them to like officially become a couple, but I don't know. I don't really mind that because like they already felt like a couple since the be to begin with, you know. Um, because you know they complete each other, you know. Like obviously, Amanes life become much better, much more organized, be thanks to Mahiro, and then Mahiro life is becoming better because she has Amanes. She's not alone anymore, and that's the ar irony of uh, of her character, you know. Despite the fact that she's an angel in the school. And she has many boys that like her, you know, and then obviously many girls that want to be friends with her. But she doesn't necessarily have, like, a concrete, like, friends, you know? Like, friends are just friends, and then that's it. They come and go. And then, like, usually they came close to her because, like, she's just, like, smart and beautiful and wants, wants uh, her help, you know? Um, but obviously, Amane knows that, well, Ma Mahiru is working hard, so, she ha so he has a huge respect for Mahiru. And then obviously we all know that Mahiru is a hardworking girl. She has problems in her life, and she's alone, you know. And then despite the fact, again, despite the fact being the most popular girl in the school, she's pretty much alone uh, the entire life. I think that's what I'm getting from the first four episodes. And then that's why I said Amane really, um, you know, kind of like completes her in a way because she has someone to listen to. She has someone to just like share the story to, you know. She has someone to hang out to. And I think in episode four, like she hang up with uh, two others Amane's friends that. We still haven't seen uh, most of them, like, you know, Itsuki and Chitose, basically. Itsuki and Chitose is, like, the two, uh, well, well, boyfriend and girlfriend, I think. And, you know, these two basically find out that, you know, the angel is actually living next door to Amane, you know. And then, yeah, this, it was such a wholesome friendship that you had because fa Amane finally find a real friend, you know, which is uh, which is Chitose, you know. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a wholesome anime, and that's why I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I highly recommend you guys to go watch it, you know. Um, I know that not a lot of people are maybe liking a slice of life anime, and I understand that. But it is um, wholesome, it is engaging, at, to say the least. It's not boring, uh, because you see, when you have this type of anime, they could be boring, and I understand that. But this is not that at all. This is like engaging. This is wholesome. This is you like the characters, you like the moments, you know, and stuff like that. And even though they're not exactly becoming an official couple, you know, I think it's gonna take maybe uh, some seasons, maybe <laughs> several seasons. Who knows? Because I don't exactly read the light novel, so I have no idea when they become a couple or or are they are they even a couple yet in the, in the light novel. But again, I don't really mind that because like when you watch the first four episodes, they already felt like a couple. So it's like. All right, <laughs> all right, cool. All, all they need to to just do, just I guess, said officially they become a couple. That's all they need to do. But I feel like right now they are already felt like a couple, so I don't exactly mind about that. But that's just me, of course. Um, and yeah, uh, I think that's it for my review, guys. Again, um, only four episodes up, but I feel like I it's it's fine for me to do like review now because again, it's a slice of life anime, it's a romance anime that you see many times, but. It is probably one of the better one that came out, you know, because like behind, you know, my dress up darling, you know, um, which has got a wholesome character and interesting character to follow, and this one also has some interesting character to follow. So I highly recommend you guys to go watch it if you are a fan of romantic and slice of life anime. Then this might be the best one came out so far. Or if you're not a fan, then I guess you you could give it a watch, you know, you could give it a try, and then you might like it. Who knows? Um. So I guess I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna leave a question to you guys here. Have you guys watched The Angel Next Door? Spoils me rotten. Um, or have you guys? And if you guys already watched it, then you can let me know in the comment section below. You know what do you guys think about this anime right here? Do you guys like it, or do you guys think it's not that great? You know, like again, uh, you can share your, your opinions in the comment section below if, if you want to, of course. And again, if you guys haven't watched it, then I I recommend you guys to go watch it. You know, maybe maybe you like it. Who knows? <laughs> you know, just maybe you like it. Maybe you'll find it engaging and wholesome. You know, um. If you have a you know just a free time that maybe you just wanna just do nothing and watch some anime then this is a perfect anime for me at least to watch when I have a free time because it's such a wholesome anime um I've had that as I said that many times but yeah it's a wholesome I, I that's that's what it is you know so sorry for saying it many times but it is wholesome <laughs> um but either way guys that's my review um and if you guys enjoy my review, then, you know, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the videos, do some stuff, you know. You guys can become a member for the channel by clicking the join button below. So you guys can support this channel even further. And, um, yeah, thank you for everybody who's still supporting my channel. Uh, stay tuned for more, more videos in the future, guys. And, again, 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one then. Bye!